Hello everyone. Uh, this is a fifth video on inferential statistics. Uh, in this video, we discuss errors in hypothesis testing. In the previous video, we learned steps involved in hypothesis testing. Uh, we learned how to formulate hypothesis, how to select test statistics, and how to evaluate test statistic value. Uh, in this video, we discuss level of significance. In the coming sessions, we'll be discussing p-value and how to make decisions if we have test statistic value and p-value. In particular, in this video, we understand types of errors. There are two types of errors. We call this uh, type 1 and type 2. We see exactly what are they and how to evaluate it with an example. And using same example, we understand critical region, acceptance region, and critical value. When we perform hypothesis test, we make one of two decisions. We reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Because our decision is based on the sample rather than the entire population, there is a possibility we make one of the following errors. We make type 1 error or type 2 error. Type 1 error occurs if we reject null hypothesis when it is true. And type 2 error occurs if we do not reject null hypothesis when it is false. Thus, in testing any statistical hypothesis, four different situations uh, determine whether the uh, final decision is correct or error. These situations are summarized here in the form of table. If we fail to reject null hypothesis, H0, that leads to a correct, that uh, happens to be a correct decision if H0 is true, or that leads to a type 1 error if H0 is false. If we reject null hypothesis, that leads to type 1 error if null hypothesis is true, or the decision will be a correct decision if null hypothesis is false. Now let me define a level of significance which is also called alpha error and beta error. Alpha is nothing but probability of type 1 error and beta is probability of type 2 error. Now we understand this in detail with an example. Uh, let's consider this example. Uh, suppose uh, f of x is a population or normal population with mean 50 and standard deviation 2.5. Test the hypothesis that mean is equal to 50 against the alternative that mean is not equal to 50. The given that null hypothesis mu is equal to 50 and alternate hypothesis is mu not equal to 50 and population standard deviation is given as 2.5 and sample size is 10. What we need to find here is alpha error and beta error. Recollect that alpha error is nothing but probability of type 1 error and type 1 error occurs if we reject null hypothesis when it is true. Okay. Uh, alpha is probability of type 1 error. Uh, this is equal to probability that we reject H0 when H0 is true. H0 is true when mu is equal to 50. That is when mu is equal to 50. Now when we reject H0 from this question, it's clear that we do not reject H0 if uh, sample mean lie between these two numbers. Otherwise, we have to reject H0. Uh, we reject H0 when x bar is uh, less than 48.5 or x bar is greater than 51.5 provided uh, mean is 50. And we find the corresponding z value so that we can easily evaluate this population, sorry, probability. Uh, since uh, population is normally distributed, the distribution of x bar will be normal and corresponding z values are this. A z value when x bar is 48.5 is, let me call this as z1, 48.5 minus population mean which is 50 divided by standard deviation of x bar and standard deviation of x bar is sigma divided by root n and sigma is 2.5 root n is root 10. Uh, this is equal to minus 1.9. Z2 is 
of 51.5 minus 50 divided by 2.5 divided by root 10 this is 1.10 you can check this uh, thus the probability of type 1 error is probability z less than minus 1.9 plus probability that z is greater than 1.9 we can see from normal distribution table the value is approximately uh, what's the value it's 0 0.0574 we can see that the value is a uh, smaller in this case and this alpha can be further decreased if numerical values of uh, uh, z values are larger uh, this becomes larger if uh, n is larger that is if sample size increases automatically alpha red decreases <laughs> next we find a uh, beta error now before that let's see uh, what is acceptance region and rejection region uh, uh, for this particular question and they given that we accept this null hypothesis and uh, x bar lie between these two numbers we know that x bar is normally distributed and corresponding random variable is normal random variable and let this be the distribution it is symmetric about the mean mean is uh, 50 let this be 51.5 and 48.5 we accept it if uh, x bar is less than 48.5 and this region is called critical region or rejection region okay and both okay let me put it here Okay, I'll do this this is a critical region or rejection region as well this and this is called acceptance region and these two points are called critical points because this is the points which divide this critical region and uh, acceptance region this points are called critical points or critical values uh, if I uh, standardize this uh, random variable x bar we got we get a uh, standard normal random variable and mean of that will be a uh, zero and corresponding z values are 1.9 and minus 1.9 if I consider standard normal distribution and uh, this is a critical region and this will be acceptance region and these two z values are called critical values okay now let's see uh, how to find beta error second part of the question and beta is probability of type 2 error and this is probability uh, type 2 error occurs if you do not reject null hypothesis when it is false we don't reject null hypothesis in this question if x bar lie between 48.5 and 51.5 when mu is not equal to 50. we don't reject uh, when x bar is between 48.5 and 51.5 and mu is not equal to 50. Look at this. If I give a question something like this, it's difficult to find beta. Oh, it's practically impossible, I guess, because if mu is not equal to 50, it can be anything. It can be 51, it can be 52, it can be 53, it can be 54, or it can be 48, and so on. If it is not equal to 50 for different values of mu, we may get different beta error. Uh, in this question, they said that population mean is uh, 52. That is, we don't reject null hypothesis when population mean is 52. But null hypothesis is, uh, says that population mean is 50. That is, population, the null hypothesis is false in this case. Uh, we have to find a uh, P 48.5, x bar lie between 48.5 and 51.5 when mu is equal to 52, particularly. Okay. And then we find the corresponding z value and uh, let me call this z1 uh, 48.5 the mu is 52 in this case divided by sigma divided by root 10 
which remains the same and z2 be this uh, 51.5 minus 52 divided by 2.5 divided by root 10 the value saw uh, it's this is a uh, minus 4.43 and this value is uh, minus 0 0.63 therefore uh, the probability is this uh, z lie between uh, minus 4.43 less than z less than a zero point minus zero point six three if z lie between these two numbers that gives the probability that z lie between these two numbers gives beta and from distribution table we can easily find that this value is zero point two six four three look at this this is a larger than alpha error in this case and you can see that this can be uh, decreased further. Now, how we can decrease this? <coughs> what happens if I increase uh, n? If I increase n, <laughs> this also increases the numerical value. Okay, if this increases, does this decreases? No, I guess. Okay, let's see this. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me show you some graphs here. Uh, pictures. Uh, you can see this picture. The probability of a uh, type two error when mu is equal to fifty two and n is equal to uh, ten. Okay, uh, just now we discussed it and we got the answer as this: uh, zero point two six four three. Uh, this is pictorically. And this is 48.5, uh, right? 48.5, yeah, this is 51.5. You can see this. When uh, mu is equal to 50, then the probability that x bar lie between these two numbers is uh, this area. When mu is equal to 52, the probability that x bar lie between these two numbers is uh, this area. Because uh, when mu is equal to 52, distribution is this okay thus if distribution is this that's the probability that x bar lie between 48.5 and 51.5 is this area which is already shaded you can see this this area and you can see this if mu approaches hypothesized value Hypothesis value is a mu is equal to 50. If mu approaches hypothesis value, now we assume, if you assume that mu is equal to 50.5, still it is not equal to 50. Um, you can see the probability increases. That is, probability of making type 2 error increases rapidly as true value approaches hypothesis value, but it is not equal to hypothesis value. That's this. No, exact mean is a 50.1, assume that 50.1, and hypothesized mean is a 50, which are very close to each other. If I start calculating beta error, that becomes very, very large. Okay, obviously, I, uh, we cannot say exactly this is mean. The probability of making type two error increases rapidly. If uh, true value approaches uh, hypothesized value, but we can neglect that. <coughs> That's not an issue. Okay, uh, there are few notes here. Type 1 error and type 2 error are related. If I start decreasing one, other one increases. Yeah, that's true. You can uh, analyze this example, you understand it. An increase in sample size reduces beta, the provided that alpha is fixed. That's the reason in the next session we'll be discussing this. I'll be fixing this level of significance. Okay, once I fix the level of significance, we can easily decrease the type 2 error by increasing the sample size. Okay, in this course, uh, uh, we uh, uh, maybe are not interested, we will not be interested in type 2 error. Because as I said, if uh, a sample mean is not exactly known, it's impossible to find this type 2 error. Okay, this is just for uh, calculation purpose. Uh, thus, we uh, we don't uh, much we're not much interested in type two error. We'd be interested only in alpha error. This level of significance. 
uh, we see uh, when we fix this level of significance how to find critical region and acceptance region in the next session okay now before we stop let's see uh, uh, one more example a fabric manufacturer believes that the proportion of orders for raw materials arriving late is a uh, 0 0.6 if the random sample of 10 orders shows that three or few fewer arrival uh, arrive late the hypothesis that p is equal to 0 0.6 should be rejected oh okay uh, in favor of alternate hypothesis p is uh, less than 0 0.6 okay they're given a null hypothesis as p is equal to 0 0.6 here the parameter is proportion alternate hypothesis p is less than 0 0.6 and sample size n is equal to 10 okay and uh, we rejected uh, if random sample of 10 shows that uh, three of your arrived late the hypothesis should be rejected that is we rejected reject this hypothesis when uh, x that is sample is less than or equal to 3 okay x is less than or equal to 3 x be the number of orders arrival late uh, let uh, x be number of orders arrived late then we reject we reject h naught if x is less than or equal to 3 this is what given in the question and you have to find alpha error as well as beta error that is probability of committing type 1 error is alpha error plus level of significance and probability of committing type 2 error is beta error okay well in this previous example uh, i think i said this this critical region this is alpha so alpha error you can see this if this is small this plus this is alpha error critical region that is a uh, area covered by this critical region is nothing but alpha okay in this case this is alpha okay, let's say this example mm. we find alpha error alpha is equal to a probability of a type 1 error and type 1 error is uh, we uh, reject h naught when it is true that is we reject it when x is less than or equal to 3 and p is equal to 0 0.6 they are asking us to use binomial distribution now yeah, we can find using binomial distribution what is probability that uh, x is less than or equal to 3 uh, n is equal to 10 therefore this is uh, sigma x is equal to a 0 to 3 because less than or equal to 3 it can be 0 1 2 or 3 uh, binomial distribution x and parameter is n comma p and p is equal to 0 0.6 this is equal to sigma x is equal to 0 to 3 uh, b x n is equal to 10 and p is 0 0.6 you can check the value of this one is 0 0.05476 and we need to find beta uh, that is we uh, fail to reject h naught when p is equal to 0 0.3 uh, we fail to reject it when x is greater than 3 and p is equal to 0 0.3 therefore this is a sigma x is equal to a 4 to 10 b x 10 comma 0 0.3 you can see this the value is approximately uh, 0 0.35 uh, this is a alpha error and beta error. I hope you understood this. Uh, an alpha error is very, very important for us. This is also called level of significance. This is nothing but uh, area covered by this critical region. Remember that. Uh, if area covered by critical region decreases, alpha error also decreases. In that case, acceptance region increases. There is a um, we see in the next session that acceptance region also connected with this confidence interval okay we stop here thank you